Uh, first off, how did this uh, Marshfield Community Fund come about? So the Marshfield Community Fund came about, um, I would say shortly after I started the survey through the Chamber of Commerce. Um, we were kind of looking at the preliminary results and I was kind of talking to different people in the community and looking for a way that we could do this better, how we could collaborate and come together and, um, you know, put a fund together where I wouldn't have to run it myself. <laughs> That's the honest answer. Um, I was looking for something outside of the chamber, but someone that the chamber could collaborate with. Um, and I, Bridget and I uh, worked together on the school committee and she worked for United Way. So she was telling me about the municipal funds that they've started um, that weren't yet in our area, uh, that were in other areas. And I'm sure she can talk more about that. But we um, kind of had the bright idea together that maybe we could bring this to Marshfield. So um, these efforts have really grown out of United Way's overall response to the COVID-19 crisis, which has been to um, raise funds in order to provide organizations that are rooted in the community that have a proven track record um, of distributing sort of flexible emergency financial assistance to individuals and families in need. And so we had been doing this region wide and then um, probably about three or four weeks ago, a number of cities started to approach us to set up funds that were really intended to mobilize additional resources for their own communities uh, in partnership with their communities. And it really accomplishes two things. One, it, again, is just the uh, ability to generate additional um, money uh, that can be given out to help people in need during the crisis, but also to serve a, in a role where the nonprofits that are serving the community can sort of have a, a little bit of a coordinated response um, and, and know who is serving which families, um, ensure that gaps are being filled. So if there are some areas that are over-resourced or some areas that um, need additional help, um, everyone is sort of talking and coordinating and we can ensure that all gaps are, are filled to help the most families we can. Are there certain organizations in, in town that are gonna be connected to this Marshfield Community Fund? Yes, so uh, we've been working in partnership with the United Way in Plymouth County, um, who has helped us to identify the, the main partners will be the Sowing Seeds, uh, who again has sort of a proven track record in, in this field and they're a tremendous partner um, to Marshfield. And then uh, Boys and Girls Club are the two original. And then we are also working with the Food Pantry, who will be you know, I think serving a really important role as a referral partner. So a lot of times families in need will go to the food pantry as a first stop. And to the extent that the food pantry can then help connect those families to additional resources to help them. Um, it's, a, it's a really great role and a way to reach families um, that may not be aware of the help that's out there. It's a lot of great organizations in the community and you being the executive director of the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, how can where should people, where should organizations go if they want to kind of get involved with this Marshfield Community Fund? Sure. So they can go to um, marshfieldchamber.org and get more information about the community fund. They could also go to marshfieldtoday.com. That's a brand new website that has been developed by one of our neighbors. I'm sure you might have seen it, Bridget and I, um, and along with Jen Cantwell, were featured in their Behind the Lines story there. Um, also, if you'd like to um, purchase a t-shirt, we had a brand new chamber member partner, um, Acme Printing Supply. Um, that's a local Marshfield family, and they just created Eat, Drink, Shop local t-shirts that are available on Facebook, Instagram, and also they will be going up on our website momentarily. I think this is a, a time that's unprecedented for a lot of families, and what I think one of the um, the sort of ways that this fund was jump started was really the survey data that Laura and the Marshfield Chamber of Commerce collected, and you know we were struck by the some of the the data that you know one in five families were in need of immediate financial or food assistance. Um, Forty five percent of those who responded had lost jobs or wages, you know, and those are incredible statistics for such a short period of time. You know, and we also know that many families 
were already struggling, um, you know, before this crisis. And something like this is just going to, you know, make things more challenging for them. So, you know, I think anytime that there's an opportunity for, you know, Marshfield is a, a tremendous community, you know, and it's, it, it is one that pulls together all the time um, for, for different needs and for different um, causes. And so I think the opportunity to help folks at this time, um, you know, we're, we're thankful to the chamber for partnering with us um, to help get the word out and, and make it happen. Thank you so much. I was just going to say the same thing about the United Way, that <laughs> we're really, really, really grateful for this partnership. Um, we feel really lucky that we were, I guess, selected. Um, I'm really thankful that they, they loved our survey. Um, although you don't love the numbers, that's what, you know, really jump-started the partnership. And I think it's important that, um, that people realize that giving our residents and our families and our business owners a voice is so important because that's the only reason really why this happened because I didn't realize what was happening with some of our neighbors. And I didn't, I didn't realize until I have the data right in front of me to say, wow, this is a huge problem. It's bigger than I thought. It's bigger than me and we need help. So I'm very, very thankful to the United Way and um, thank you for all the work you guys do. Get, 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 get,